Hi TK, this is Michael from Better TOEFL Scores. Free high quality lessons and thank you for doing your integrated speaking practice. I love how you prepare. Man, are you going to be the next one to get over 26. I got a good feeling you're getting really close. I think you're really close to that 26 point threshold. Okay, I have the rubrics here. I'm getting ready to grade it. I have your speaking right there. Okay, give me a quick second here. There we go. This does complicate it. Now I have I have the integrated rubrics on one side. I have your speaking practice test on the other. But there's one more thing I want to look at. This is what I think is genius, what you're doing. I had somebody do this about two years ago. So what you're doing is, is you, you listen to the reading or you read the reading passage, you listen to the lecture, you jot down some notes, and then you write your response. The whole thing, right? And then you practice that response several times, then you send it to me. So one of my Japanese students did this a few years ago, and she ended up getting 28 on the speaking section of the TOEFL exam. How is that possible, Michael? You can't write anything during the test. Of course you can't. But what you're doing here, TK, is you're making the language use more automatic. So as you write it out, you get more familiar with the structure how to structure your response, and you use a lot of vocabulary and a lot of good grammar. And these things are good. And eventually, you will be able to do this without having to write anything down. That's how automatic it will become. You take the TOEFL exam and bam, you're 26 points or higher. And that's exactly what's going to happen in your case. Okay, so let's listen to it. According to the announcement and the university, it decided to stop serving hot breakfast at dining halls on campus because cold meals such as yogurt and fruit are healthier and they save money, which should be beneficial to students. Should be beneficial. Now, the one thing I want you to work on here is your tone. So when you get to the end of the thought group, you'll say, according to the announcement, according to the announcement, the university decided to stop serving hot breakfast at dining halls on campus because cold meals such as yogurt and fruit are healthier and they save money, which should be beneficial to students. Then when you get to the end of the sentence, you want to drop your tone a bit. The woman opposes this plan. First, she points out this changes. This is a little bit troublesome. I would say something like the woman opposes this plan by first pointing out that this change is out of the question, right? And then say second after that. So I think you need to combine these two sentences because this sentence here is it's too short. And you don't want a lot of really short sentences. Remember, you got speech writer. Speech writer is artificial intelligence. They're going to listen. The speech writer is going to listen to your speech and then figure out your vocabulary, your sentence length, your pronunciation, all of those different kinds of things. So, again, I would combine those two. Out of question, and because temperature of meals has nothing to do with health, in a cold morning, Say, on a cold morning, it should be better to have something hot. Something hot. You had a little bit of pronunciation there. Second, uh, contrary to the expectation of the university, this plan costs students more uh, since students have to go off campus to buy what they want and at a higher price. Yeah, I like that. This plan costs students more. I like how you put more emphasis on that. That's an important word. You're making that the focus word. That's a good strategy for intonation. Even if it's several times a week, uh, it's more expensive. Right. See how you're tempted. You want to put, uh, 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 you, you almost put them in there, not quite, but you're tempted to throw those conversation fillers in there. Don't do that if you don't have to. 
We all have some pauses and hesitations, and it's natural to a degree, especially as you attempt to recall information from a reading or a listening passage. Nevertheless, try to avoid those hesitations and those conversation fillers if you can. I'm going to listen to your response one more time, then I'll give you a score. And as I listen to it this time, I'm going to look at the rubrics. According to the announcement and the university, it decided to stop serving hot breakfast at dining halls on campus because cold meals such as yogurt and fruit are healthier and they save money, which should be beneficial to students. The woman opposes this plan. First, she points out this change is out of question and because temperature of meals has nothing to do with health. In a cold morning, it should be better to have something hot. Second, uh, contrary to the expectation of the university, this plan costs students more uh, since students have to go off campus to buy what they want and at a higher price. Even if it's several times a week, uh, it's more expensive. Okay, so I think you're between, I'm going to say 3 to 3.5. I'm going to put you at 24 to 26 points on this. I like your language use. Just be careful. You don't have too many really short sentences in there. Be careful about that. You had great control of your grammar, vocabulary. You had a nice organization of ideas. Delivery, you are having some problems, a little bit with tone. You can work on that by going to pronunciation lessons 36 through 40, and then maybe you can improve a little bit with what's called thought groups and blending. So generally, your goal with your pacing is to have longer, not shorter thought groups. So your thought groups need to be approximately four to five stress words, and then you have a pause. Make sure that your tone goes up slightly at the end of each thought group, unless it's the end of the sentence at which point your tone falls. Right, So I think you can still make some adjustments there. That's going to help you speak a little more fluidly. And thank you for doing the practice test. Keep up the good work.